Alright, so the other day I came up with another origami effective construction of pi. This one, just like the other one, can be used with a compass and straight edge as well. So it's not leveraging anything that origami does that compass and straight edge techniques cannot do. Wow, my hand is gross in this view. Alright. Um, so what it produces is actually a line you can go corner to corner you can make the longest possible line on your sheet of paper um, using all you have to do is drop in that crease and it'll it'll do it um, so over here we have zero the origin this is the unit when this value is tau this is the unit when this value is pi this is the unit when this value is pi on two this is the unit when this value is pi on four this is 3 when this is pi, or 3 quarters when this is uh, pi on 4. Right. So it's very useful. We're not, it's, it's not strictly pi. It's, it's just that relationship between the various, the unit and the various interpretations of what the fundamental circle constant should be. Tau, pi, or yeah, tau, pi, and pi on 2 all having historical claims and pi on 4 being the one that I favor because it actually shows up more and it is the smallest of all of them being more fundamental. Um, anyway, the construction is actually quite simple. <clears throat> what I used was... I can actually see the creases in the camera better than I can in person. Alright. Um, basically the fact that 3 plus 1 tenth of the square root of 2 is really really close to pi and it's actually closer than my last origami construction and the way that this can map on the paper we can actually use the full width of the paper the other one used only um, about this much of it so yeah you can over here is where I'm getting the square root of 2 we quarter it so that gives us the 4 but it also gives us the 3 one of those 3's we leverage to be 2 and a half which a quarter of one of those sections is one tenth and there you go that's how you get one tenth of you just project the square root of two line and there you go you get it and then you have to copy it over that's what's happening here so this is where we first get it and then it gets copied past three so that's how you get this 